Here's an idea. The House GOP, who this week we've traditionally been thinking of as idiots, fools, and assholes, is actually the most politically savvy and clever party to have existed in the last, I don't know, 23 or 50 years. Who knows? Long time. Longer than my life. Let's talk about the government shutdown, right? Lots of programs are no longer in operation. Lots of people are out of jobs, not going to get paid. And who are they not going to get paid by? The federal government. This has all kinds of other economic problems and issues that are surrounding it. Tourism and, you know, healthcare, all kinds of different things. But the crux of the issue is that lots of people are not getting paid by the federal government. What did the GOP run on in the last election cycle where all the Tea Partiers came in? Government spending. They wanted to cut the government spending. They wanted to cut it all down so that we saved money and we are fiscally responsible. That's exactly what they got. A few months back, we went into sequester where lots of government programs got cut a little bit. Lots of furloughs, government spending got cut a little bit. That's exactly what they wanted. That's why they haven't fought to get it repealed, right? The sequester is going to be forever. We're done. With sequester, it's happening forever. Government shutdown, if they could, they would never stop. Now, one of the things I've heard on NPR and other places is that one of the fears of this government shutdown is we're going to realize that we don't actually need some of these programs or, more specifically, that some of the employees that were actually furloughed will not be brought back once the government shutdown is complete. That we'll realize that they weren't actually necessary, that we don't need to bring them back, and we can operate completely fine without them. This, I submit, is exactly what the House GOP wants us to realize. They don't want to bring some of those employees back. In fact, they probably don't want us to bring any of those employees back. They would rather keep it completely shut down forever. That's their goal, Tea Party, yay, government spending is done. In other words, this fight isn't actually about Obamacare. It's conveniently suited towards that, but Obamacare went into effect three and a half years ago. It became law. It was vetted by the judicial system. It is law. Checks and balances, done. Does that mean it's a great law? Does that mean it doesn't need revision? Does that mean it doesn't need discussion about it? No, but of course they're not going to do that either. They don't care about that. They just want to either repeal it or not. But this is not that fight. This budget fight doesn't have anything to do with Obamacare because the Affordable Care Act's funded from a different source. End of story. There's no connection here. So I submit to you that this is exactly what the GOP wanted all along. They're very smart, they're taking it extremely carefully, and they're winning right now. So we need to find a way to be smarter than that. We need to figure out how to combat that exact kind of smartness. And I submit that we haven't done it yet. That instead the Senate Democrat Democrats are playing a similar game where they sit in a corner and they fold their hands and they think that the House GOP is being a toddler and stupid when the reality is that the House GOP is doing exactly what they want to do and they're being very smart and clever about it. Do I like that they're being very smart and clever about it? Hell no, I think this is fucking stupid. So, Senate Democrats, House Democrats, President Obama, get your shit together, get your head in the game and play the game that they are playing. Stop playing the game that you think they are playing, because they are not playing that game. They don't care about Obamacare, they care about the budget, and they care about cutting it as much as possible to the detriment of the country and the world's economy. So play that game, and stop playing the game, whatever it is that you're playing, and stop being a toddler sitting in the corner holding your breath. Let's get this shit done, and get these assholes out of government. Thanks.